This is Bruce Wiggins, HCCB. Houston Community College Male Initiative Committee and the brilliant lecture series brought in Oscar award-winning actor, director, and author, Sir Cindy Portier, to speak on the importance of education. The audience consisted of high school and charter school minority boys who are at risk of dropping out. Mr. Portier shared some of his life experiences as a young man coming up not knowing how to read and what education means to him. Let's listen to what he had to say. I know you're way beyond kindergarten. You're way beyond middle school. But the passport to anything you choose is going to be an understanding of what it is you choose to do. In order to have an understanding of what your life's work you hope will be, you have to have a fairly solid education. I found that if I was to survive in New York City, I had to learn to read very well. And that I did. I bought newspapers and I struggled through. Struggled through. One syllable words are fine. This, that, him, her, here, there. Not too tough. But to get further and further into reading, I simply had to learn to read. I learned to read. I learned by listening. I learned by struggling through three, four, five syllable words. Once I learned to read fairly well, the world opened up to me because I could read things in the newspaper and understand what they were saying. Books, I found everything I wanted to understand in books. Before I was born, and I'm 80 years old, before you were born, there were people who understood it, and many who wrote about it. Anything any one of you might have an aspiration toward, you can find it. You can find it in books. I come from a father and a mother who I never knew until I was learning to read in New York City what the word integrity meant, what, what the word values meant. I learned them after I had been on my own at 15 in New York City. I learned what they meant when I learned to read, and then I recognized that I was living within the bosom of it with my parents. My father treated my mother in a very good way. Yes. My mother treated my father in a very good way. I was watching integrity at work. The only thing the government should be responsible to or is a good education. From there on, you have to fashion for yourself the life that you want. If you want to be a doctor, you have to honestly say, does my, my educational background support that desire? If you want to be an actor, you, you don't need the same credentials you need if you want to be a doctor. If you are an actor, see, nature does one thing about gifts. Nature deposits its gift as she chooses in life. Nature does not pick on the basis of color. Nature does not pick on the basis of wealth. Some of the most gifted people were people who were poor, who came from deprived circumstances. Nature deposits her gems in people, some rich, some poor, some educated, some not. If, by chance, you miss an education, but you come to the point where you are now, you want to articulate yourself in a particular way, just sit down and think through how much you are ready to spend of your time and your effort and your aspiration, on your aspirations, and go for it.
Education is very important, and it's never too late to learn. You just have to want to. Thank you, sir, Sidney Portier, and I hope this would inspire these young men to get in school and stay in school. Bruce Wiggins, HCCB. Thank you.